In 1888, on Pentecost Sunday, Margaret Mary Healy Murphy, who was a widow, she was a widow of some means and had an overriding ambition that she really wanted to help other people, came to church on Pentecost Sunday here in San Antonio, heard a talk about the education of African Americans, came out of church and said, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a school and a church for African Americans. Lots of opposition in the beginning. Ku Klux Klan was against her, the neighbors were against her, city council was against her, the mayor was against her. So in 1893, Margaret Mary Healy Murphy founded a group of women who were to become the Sisters of the Holy Spirit and Mary Immaculate. She spent the rest of her life and the rest of her fortune keeping both the school and the church running. I think from the time of Mother Margaret on, and the, the sisters have continued this really, it is looking at people's needs and raising them up from where they are. Uh, many of our students uh, do come from broken families. A lot of them have parents who are incarcerated. Many of them have no experiences of family. Many of them are young parents themselves. And so in coming to Healy Murphy, uh, they're embraced with open arms, you know, where they feel they have a place that they belong. Haley Murphy is different from other schools because it's a homey feeling. You can actually talk to the teachers and speak to them and tell them what's on your mind, and they are totally understanding. It's really the commitment of the sisters and the commitment of the faculty and staff here that creates a home for our students. They tell us all these stories of how God changed their lives, and it helps them like a lot. So when they tell us the story, it like, touches us, and it makes us feel like, like we could be good, like we can do big things, you know, in life. Like we don't have to feel bad that we are teen moms, or, or students that don't have a lot of credits, that we have help here, that they are here to help us. They come here and they find people who care about them, genuinely care about them, and who love them, and that, that, that's the foundation of community. I mean, the community in our own family starts with people who love us and care about us. I, I think that's what we do the best. Um, you know, while we help people learn, um, hopefully reading and writing, we also help them to trust again and to find hope again that they can do whatever they want to do in their lives. Mm -hmm.